Yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy the strongest wizard and tonight is indeed fight night and we have ourselves another finals match at wild card cyclone We have myself on the left hand side rocking out that Uta as well as firefox on the right with that gecko moria Starting things off here with a brand new grabbing an eruption and then trashing the rest passing the turn back Now I am swinging ak into life grabbing the new genesis off the top It does connect and pass the turn now I did have a three cost character in my hand But I chose to swing eight because I wanted to actually draw a card and i did roll the dice i did win die roll here so i did end up actually uh, choose to go first we're swinging 7k playing the prono off the trash pretty pretty nasty honestly uh super super good i'm gonna go ahead and trash a 2k off of that prona and then grab a life i actually honestly don't have many uh, 1k counters but we're gonna start things off with a new genesis playing the uta and it looks like i might have another one yes we do uh Searching for absolutely free is pretty good. Uh, grabbing the Nami Schwan and then most likely swinging 6k into life here, grabbing the chopper off the top. And guys, I have drawn so many cards. It does not connect, unfortunately, but the Nami comes down. Searching top three for that new Genesis and then passing the turn. Pretty good here, not too bad. Uh, I have a ton of 2k counters in my hand right now. And that's really, really good for the late game. Uh, for the early game against Gekko Moria, it's not the best. <laughs> it, I mean, it's great. I can't complain, obviously. Uh, but a lot of the 1k counters, you know, are kind of lacking here. But we are going to see what exactly what Firefox does want to do. He does have quite a few Dawn and he has a second attacker. Uh, and that's going to be Perona. We're swinging 5k into life. I'm going to go ahead and take this here. Dropping down to 3 life already. And I'm already assuming he's probably going to swing pretty heavy. With the uh, Gecko Moria. But he could also swing with that brand new. Brand new of course is an attacker stone. And depending how clunky his hand is, it really all depends. So we see the eruption that he did draw turn one. And we're going to go ahead and minus two costs off of that Nami being a one cost character. Super good. Uh, the question is, does he have the Absalom? It currently is not in trash, but we're swinging 5k into life. Do I end up taking it? No, I end up counting out of it with the 1k counter Uta. And now we're swinging 6k and we do pitch an Absalom. And then we're going to go ahead and use Absalom ability to pop the Nami. Uh, put back two to the bottom. And now this is a 6k swing. I need a 2k counter or take it. I'm going to go ahead and actually take this. And he's going to go ahead and pass the turn. Now, I am taking this pretty willy-nilly here just because there's really no way he can handle disrupt now of course there's cards like perona which i there's no way i can play around and then there's also cards like isho uh that he can actually pitch two if he has six or more dawn which is kind of relevant because a lot of people are playing that now uh but we're gonna start things off with a 5k swing into the perona he's gonna go ahead and counter out of it and now i am dropping luffy luffy go ahead and drop the usopp i just want to go as wide as possible i also i'm trying to be a bit more aggressive i know that's the only bad thing with going first in this deck uh, is that it's just kind of you're unable to swing uh, the, the the math doesn't really add up all the time I think if you're if you're going first with Uta it's really really good if you're being super aggressive it just really depends on the game plan uh, with your deck here so uh, he's gonna go ahead and tap one to do the eruption on the Usopp making a one cost character drawing a card of course replacing itself it's so good guys it's so good uh but we are gonna swing 5k into life now i'm debating here just to block it just in case he does anything kind of funny ice age plus luchi something like that it's definitely possible so i'm gonna go ahead and get some value just in case he could have made a mistake and not done that before so you know what just cross on my t's uh, i'm gonna go ahead and block that and now with currently is at five seven active dawn he does have quite a few plays i am just ex honestly personally excited the fact that we're not going to see a gecko moria on the eight dawn turn uh gecko moria is so good man uh a cost character with a 9k power on it is nuts uh so here we are gonna debate here firefox kind of in the think tank right now uh i mean a lot of different plays you can do and it looks like he's swinging an easy 5k into life here i'm gonna go ahead and 2k counter and this is what i was talking about earlier guys no 1k counter is just two k's in hand so it looks like i might actually uh firefox here playing tapping forward on what are we gonna see is it a borsalino possibly or maybe even a rebecca and we are gonna play actually the perona i have four five or more cards in my hand so i have to pitch one off rip this is pretty good here <laughs> this is really really good and i have to pitch one no matter what now my hand is literally full of 
it's like only that i am it's like two i invincibles and then two key counters and then an a cost kid so we are swinging 6k into life here he's gonna go ahead and bring back the absalom popping the uh usopp i'm gonna go ahead and give him a 2k counter and then passing the turn now fortunately for me i do have my luffy still on the board so that is awesome really good to see i can now maybe possibly go for some characters or maybe go for life but with i believe nine active dawn right now what can we do there's quite a few plays we can do i can, like i said I, I can go pretty aggressive on the board uh but we are gonna swing a 6k into the perona here and it does go down i'm gonna go ahead and grab the black light uh, add it to hand very nice to see <laughs> the that's a great thing about this new um build of this deck is that it you know Uta pretty much never misses. So I'm swinging over. I'm actually swinging into life. I don't want to give him another Absalom and Trash. So I'm going to go ahead and play the Nami Shuan searching top three for a film or a straw hat card. Grabbing that seven cost Luffy. Having another one in the chamber. Dropping the three cost Uta. I'm going to go ahead and use the ability here to pitch the black light and restand the luffy now earlier you did see me pitch a i am invincible now that's probably one of the biggest misplays i've done so far that i could honestly tell uh you really need the i am invincibles in this matchup to kind of close out the late game but of course you do run four and i'm constantly searching you've seen me play like three new genesis so it's really not to worry but you know it, it is something to think about now, it is really important to know that Firefox doesn't have an Absalom and Trash, so even if he does play Gecko Moria, he's going to have to trash one of the Absaloms if he wants to do so, uh, to even possibly even bring it out. So, uh, does he have the Dawn to do so? Of course, he's at currently at 10 active Dawn. Now, I do feel like my Nami is kind of safe, and if my Nami isn't safe, then that means my 7 cost Luffy is safe. So, it really depends. And also, does he have Ice, Age Ice Ages? So, we're swinging heavy with a 7k swing going into life. I'm going to go ahead and actually take this swing. I still have my Uta, and I am quite surprised he didn't try to get rid of it beforehand. So, I'm feeling a bit more safe on that, just because he did swing 7k at first now firefox still does have three life but of course with uta we have that nasty a cost kid that usually kind of helps in most matchups and it actually does a lot of work in this matchup as well uh, it just really all depends so firefox here sitting here with eight active dawn now i had imagine we probably see the a cost kid i'm sorry the a cost gecko moria there's just almost no way we don't see it i feel like that's just kind of standard <laughs> and although he hasn't shown it to us yet you know it still could be there so it looks like he's debating here to swing 5k into life now with the perona firefox definitely in the think tank once again making sure he does the right play i i still have the blocker uta unfortunately for me uh if i have a cost kid next turn and i do play it i want to keep that three cost uta nice and healthy just because it allows me to swing with my seven cost luffy and uh having an extra swing is just really nice especially when it's 5k i'm sorry 7k so we are swinging 5k into life now I if I take this, I could be baiting him a little bit just to try to go for life here. Um, if he goes for life, I have enough counter and blocker. So I'm going to go ahead and pitch just a 2k. I end up not doing so. He swings 5k. I'm going to go ahead and block it with the 7k blocker. Now we are going to go ahead and see if he wants to swing with leader. Yes, we're swinging 5k into leader. I could take this. Not too bad, but I do end up just countering out of it. Uh, I think the better play probably would have been just to take it, honestly. But we are going to see that A cost Gecko Moria grabbing the uh, the Suru and then grabbing the Luchi bottoming three. And then he's going to go ahead and have to remove a character or two and putting through to the bottom and getting rid of, of course, of that Nami. He wants to get rid of as many blockers, I'm sorry, attackers as possible. So I have Luffy on the board as well as the three cost Uta. I'm going to go ahead and start things off easy here. 6k swing. He's going to go ahead and counter with the 2k. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Usopp off the top. Now this is a 1k counter. You love to see it. Uh, or just counter in general is just really awesome. So now with the 9 active Dawn, I'm now in the situation is 
Do I want to swing with Luffy? I need to apply more pressure on the board. Uh, I just really need to get this going. So I'm going to swing 7k into life. He's actually going to counter out of it with two cards. And now I'm dropping the ACOS kit. ACOS kit here ability. I'm going to go ahead and use its ability to not bring a card out. And I'm going to go ahead and just attach a Dawn, pass the turn, Uta ability, restand Luffy. And I get rid of another I am invincible. That's two I am invincibles down in the trash right now. Um... And hey, he did end up pitching two cards for it. So it really all depends how he wants to move here. I still have a good amount of cards in my hand. And this is the really important thing about trying to keep those film Namis alive is that generating an extra card a turn is really, really good. Off the bat, Uta already does it, but when you have two characters to do it, it's really nice. So we're swinging AK into AK with that Luji 1K counter. We're seeing a 10K swing. I'm gonna go ahead and unblock it with the Uta. I want nothing to do with that. And it really now all depends on how he wants to move. He can swing a crazy amount right now into that ACOS kid. Definitely you know in the realm of possibilities but he does have qu a quite a crazy board right now honestly he has a ton of different options and he has absalom back in trash that is something to note uh just he has that option right so so he's debating here whether he wants to swing t probably 10k into the kid now the question is do i have 3k counter in my hand uh that's pretty big here but we are going to use the leader ability here to pitch a card uh what card are we actually going to go ahead and grab back we're grabbing uh, the hog back to grab perona perona a 2k counter going back into hand is really really good and uh bottoming two cards here and now i have to get rid of two cards in my hand if i even have it and i don't have 3k counter so the luffy has to go down uh obviously i'd rather keep a cost kid alive since it is essentially like another life for me uh, something that he can't really avoid and even if you ice age it that is a three cost character so he has to do a little bit more he has to just work a little bit harder to get rid of it so now i'm back at 10 active dawn you know i have a luffy since i did end up adding it earlier in this game so we are swinging 6k where is it going is it going into life or is it going into luchi i'm going for the luchi actually just because i need to I need to figure this out, man. <laughs> I need to get rid of some of these characters. And I, since I don't have much counter, I need to get, try to get rid of these little bodies. Uh, because a ton of AK swings will end up doing it. So he does end up countering out of it. And now I'm swinging 9, possibly 9k. No, I am swinging 10k into this uh, this Gekko Moria. And of course, he does end up countering out of it. And now these you see the 7 cost Luffy. Do I have a body to play? I have the Zoro that you did see me pick up earlier, but I need the counter in my hand. So he is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn actually. Pretty unfortunate, really didn't do anything to the board. I did get a couple of cards out of his hand, which is really nice. And this is the benefit of ACOS Kid in the late game against this matchup, is that you're actually able to kind of gas them out if they don't end up seeing a lot of their Ice Ages or um, a lot of their cards. Although I do think Firefox did see quite a few cards here so not to worry not too bad and now it really all depends what firefox wants to do right so he has a 9k body he can swing pretty heavy if he really wanted to man he can swing he can really go at this kid and it probably would go down so we are swinging ak into the kid this is an easy 1k counter now of course you did see me pick it up it's the main reason why i didn't bring it down with the zoro so um with the luffy so now we swing a nine i'm gonna go ahead and 2k counter out of that i did have that in the tuck a little bit so not to worry but now we see another acos gecko moria acos gecko moria here is gonna grab us a uh borsalino as well is a brand new and brand new gets from the ice age now this is danger zone i really need to get rid of that uh i really need to apply even more pressure um if the uh the timer the clock wasn't on man it is definitely on now uh ice age is a killer card super good <laughs> uh so i definitely need to try to go for game here or try to do some damage so i'm actually gonna go ahead and play the black light to rest the borsalino now he only has two cards in his hand and we know one of them is dead which is that ice age so if i really wanted to i could kind of go for game here if i have an i am invincible that is the question is that the issue possibly so i am going to go ahead and trying to debate how i want to swing here i'm also thinking to myself okay what if i find a blocker 
if I find another blocker, I swing 7k here. I find another blocker. I could maybe do something here. So I'm kind of, I'm really going back and forth mentally here, how I want to play this out. Now I will tell you, I have a couple cards in my hand and I remember from this match, I have two extra kids in my hand. So I have two possibilities here. I can go for board. I can also try to go for game. Uh, and I don't have an I am invincible in my hand. So it really all depends on what the top is. And now I have to figure out where I'm going to go for life here. Uh, but no, I go for the Boris Lino and it's a Mihawk. So it goes to the bottom. Really, you really hate to see it here. So now I'm swinging uh, 11k into the Gecko. And now I am going to go ahead and probably just swing into the Luffy. Just because now I feel like there's no point. AK into the the uh, the Rob Lucci here. And we're going to go ahead and pass. Leaving one Dawn open for that Paradise Waterfall, of course. Um totally kidding i don't run that card <laughs> uh but we do have three cards in hand here and my man firefox only has three cards as well and we know he has the ice age and so we are going to go ahead and play the ice age and the really funny thing is he top decked another ice age so this this character is really 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 small here So it looks like he is possibly swinging 7k uh, into the kid. Now, I believe the ruling is, is that you have to actually target a character. You have to target the kid. But if you're playing the if you're using its ability here to play Absalom, I believe the attack fizzles out. Now, if you know the proper ruling, please let me know in the comment section below. But that is just what they were telling me and it looks like we're gonna swing 9k into life and now this is an 8k swing into life and firefox does end up taking this thank you guys so much for checking out this channel this is a video i really do appreciate it and stay tuned because i have a ton of new ebo1 content coming out soon see ya